and welcome back to the Ducoscopy Studios in Geneva. I am joined today by Carl Gustav London from IUCN to discuss island tourism. Welcome, Carl. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be back. Fantastic. So, island tourism is very much a popular pastime. What do you see as new trends? Many of us actually love to go to tropical islands, and of course, uh, there are some spectacular ones that are being developed right now. We're seeing some parts of the world, like northern Mozambique or parts of um, Maldives, uh, opening new resorts uh, on, on quite a regular basis. Many of these places are, I think, looking at uh, new ways of having an edge. And one of the interesting ones is actually taking care of the reef areas in the vicinity of, of their facilities. Um, one of the really exciting things from our perspective is that uh, there's much more environmental consciousness. If you actually mistreat the reef, you end up destroying the resource, you end up destroying the island. So treating the whole island as a whole, I think, is a, is a really interesting new concept. Absolutely. So what are the environmental concerns? So there's quite a few things now that are troubling us with many of these islands. One of them, of course, is the construction phase itself. And uh, there, if you do a lot of dredging, if you actually move the island one way or another, uh, a lot of places like to have a sundowner little island just next to, to the main island. And they often then do massive dredging. Now that tends to kill off the seagrass beds. And that's actually what binds the, the sand. So we end up having big erosion problems. So many of these small islands then need to put sandbags or build barriers. And not only is it ugly, but it actually is destroying the island itself. So that's one of the big issues. Some places don't actually treat their sewage, which means you're actually literally uh, swimming in your own sewage, which isn't really a nice thing to think about. And some places also overuse uh, the fish and, you know, they, they end up actually depleting one of the main things people come to see. Absolutely. So how do you combine a good tourism experience and the beauty of the island and the surrounding waters? And do you have any good experiences working from today? Well, I think uh, what we're seeing is um, managing a whole island as a system, looking at the different aspects of it. And that requires you actually to observe and understand what it is that you have. So you have a, a better feel for you know, what is vulnerable, how do you zone these areas, what are the types of users that you permit, how should you actually educate the tourists also. We're finding new groups of tourists coming in that maybe don't know how to swim. So in those situations, if you have a coral reef, you obviously don't want them walking on the reef. Maybe putting up artificial reefs that they can walk in the sand but still see some corals and some fish is a good way of, of getting around that. Um, I've been working a lot on the marine conservation uh, effort in Maldives uh, recently and some of the footage behind us here is us uh, actually surveying the reef. And, and that was, I think, a very um, good experience also to see that many of these resorts are doing a good job to protect their near reef. And in fact, de facto, there are small marine reserves where you aren't allowed to fish, where you actually take care of the, the thing for, for the future. Other parts of the world uh, where I worked a lot, like in uh, northern Mozambique, uh, we've created a small fisheries reserve with the local community that's policed by them and actually then gives them a stake in maintaining it. Uh, often the dive operators pay a small fee so that actually there's something coming back to the community as well. And we help them develop small new initiatives, both in terms of school projects, wildlife clubs, for example, and, and working with various um, different community groups, the women's group to educate them against AIDS and various sort of health risks, for example. So we're finding with different types of approaches in different places, we can really turn the corner. We can make it much more of a long-term viable option. What we don't want is to have a quick exploitation of an island, five to 10 years of running a, a beautiful resort, but then basically you've wrecked the reef, you've wrecked the livelihood. And in fact, you might erode the whole island and lose the whole island. So that's a great risk and something we would try to avoid. That's great, thank you. Well, thank you so much for speaking to us today and for providing us with such amazing footage as well. Thank you, my pleasure for being here. Well, that's all for today, but make sure to check back on the Ducoscopy website for further updates. Goodbye for now.